You are the apple of God's eye. You are a redeemed child of God. You were purchased with a costly price. God does not want you to be troubled or be in a situation that will bring you to the ground. Whatever you are going through today is making the right thing into your life. There can never be a life without a story of fright or trouble, but in these situations, God is always using them to bless you beyond your thought and your imaginations. God is especially raising people from the trash to the palace, from nothing to somebody great. You can be down now, but the Lord plans to give you a great life above what you are going through now. Your situation is not the end of your life. What you are going through now is not the definition of what your life is meant to be. Are you down in trouble that you think there cannot be a remedy to it anymore? You are jobless with lots of financial obligations to meet up to and it has been difficult for you to fulfill your role in the family and your life. The devil may have struck your health with some sort of disease and infirmity and you have been struggling with the situations. God wants to use that situation to bless you. You cannot continue in that situation because God has decided to do something good for you. When you are broken, when life makes no more sense to you, when your strength is down and you do not know what to do again, that is the time God is saying you should not worry about your present predicament because He wants to turn your life around. You need not worry if God will do something for you or not. Your life is in God and it is always the pleasure of the Lord to bless you and make your life as beautiful as His glory. When you are down, it is the time God wants to bring you up. When you are broken is when God wants to strengthen and bless you both in the physical and in the soul and your spirit. The blessing is the Lord's decision and not by the act of men. You may ask, you may pray, you may do everything that is required for you to get the blessing, but the decision to bless you is still the Lord's. That is the reason you must always look forward to God even when everything is going tough and not the way you have planned it to be. When God wants to turn your sorrow to joy, He does it without consulting anybody. One thing that keeps you in the game is a focus and not losing your confidence in the Lord. When you are down, there is a reason for that because God cannot just allow you to be down. When you are broken, there is something great God wants to do for you with your situation. Things do not just happen to you like that because you are the apple of God's eye and whenever He allows anything to tamper with your life, your health, your finance and your marriage, your family and every other thing that concerns you, that means He is up to something better for you that you have not known yet. Do you not know that down the valley is where the strength to get to the top of the hill is generated? When you are down, you are not out. You are only getting the power and the power to rise to the top again. You may have risen before and you fell. You may have been rich before and now you have become poor. That is not the end of your life. Your health may have been sound and strong and now the devil struck you with one dysfunction and you are struggling with it. That is not the end of the world for you. Finding yourself in such a situation means you are about to get something better from the Lord and He wants to make you and build you into that person. It is the big misconception that God made you ill or crushed your finances. Do you not know that everything good comes from the Lord Almighty? Nothing bad comes from Him. You must always learn to discover your stand with the Lord and according to His stand for you. In your days of lack, in your days of wants and need, when your strength has failed, when you have been abandoned by friends and families, when things are not sweet and rosy with you, in the days you planted and invested but nothing is there to show for it, when your marriage is hell instead of paradise for you, when you are full of disappointment and sadness, when it is like the devil has prevailed in your life, it is then that you think you cannot make it again. That is the same time God is turning your life around. If there is anything you are missing in your life, you are not happy, your joy has been taken away by the death of a loved one. It does not have to be what you have thought it will be.
There is nothing in your life that God cannot change if you allow him. Your life is always the priority to the Lord. You have to stand firm in your belief in the Lord, even if every hope is about to vanish into thin air. When the economy is not favorable, that is when the Lord is making things to work for you. That is the Lord that you serve. That is the power of the God of heaven. The devil will bring in hardship to disrupt your life, to keep you backward while life is evolving into a new level and developing rapidly. But when the devil had done this, that is when God will turn things around for you. You are always in the plans of God for the blessings, no matter what the challenges of your life may be. You cannot be left out in the blessing and then turn around what God wants to perform in your life. You are a project in the hands of the Lord, like the potter and the clay. You are the clay in the hands of the Lord, the potter of your life. And when these things are happening to you, that means your life is about to be reshaped. Before a new structure will be made, the old structure will be irrelevant and made to go through the process of tough rearrangement. That is what your life is going through right now. That is what the Lord is doing to you. That pain is not to destroy you, rather it is to make you a better person. You will know the power of the pain when your life is finally transformed into the image the Lord wants for you. There are many times Jesus was weak and needed an external strength. Many times he will always pray and the Holy Spirit will come and comfort him. While he was broken and down and went to pray at the Gethsemane, the Bible said he was sorrowful in his spirit and the sweat coming from him was as thick as blood. But in the end, the Holy Spirit came to comfort him. Then he was broken. He needed the help of God, the comfort of the Spirit and the assistance of the angels. At that point, God gave him strength. God gave him power. His situation that time was taken away and the boldness was given to him to stand the time and that period of suffering. A man cannot receive help if he does not need help. It is evident that Jesus needs help. He is down and needed to be lifted in the spirit. Most times, it is not all about the material and physical things. You may be going through a tough time in your spiritual life. You may be down in your spirit and you can no more help yourself. This is the time God will bless you and give you the lifting that you ought to have. In times like this, what you need to know is that nobody receives it if he does not ask. You must keep asking even when your hope is dashing against the rock. Don't stop asking from God. You are the reason God has given his only begotten son to die. You are the reason God is always releasing strength to the earth. Every resource you need, both spiritual and material, is always ready to be given to you if you ask. If you don't ask, you might not receive it. Your tough and broken time is taking time. God is about to bless and lift you and give you every enablement. While you are asking, you must also remain focused on God to keep your hope fastened on Him. You cannot be a Christian that asks today and will not ask tomorrow or the next. You must be consistent in your pursuits. You must not give up on your dream. You cannot quit because the heat is too much on you. You don't stop when you are tired. You stop when you have accomplished. God is doing it for you.